The table loop component is the most versatile choice for creating and collaborating on content. Tables are best used when you want to order lists of items and provide more information for each item. Begin by adding a table loop component to a Teams chat. Choose the number of rows and columns to start. It's easy to add more rows and columns as you work, so don't let that initial choice slow down your collaboration. If in doubt, make a start with four rows and four columns. If you're adding a table loop component to an existing loop page, type a forward slash where you want the table to be created on the page. The top row of this table will be used for naming the columns. It will format using bold text to show the column titles. Name the first column, perhaps items. Add the first item by filling in the first cell of the second row. If you are listing ideas, then enter some brief text for the name of the idea. The second column could be used for a fuller description of the idea. Enter a name in the first row of the second column. Call it description. You can change the width of columns, so drag the edge of a column to the width that you need. Resize the description column to give more room for more text. As you add text into a cell, the text will wrap around to the next line in that cell. If you want to start a new line in the same cell, hold down the shift key and press enter. Type enter when you're ready to move to the next cell and add the next item. And this will create a new row. While collaborating on a table, the group may want to record new information about each item. Add a new column by hovering over the top row. Dots appear on the either side of a column. Hover over the side where you want the new column to be inserted. Choose the plus to add the new column. The new column might list people, so use the at symbol to search for their name and mention them. Add a forward slash to add more information other than text. You might want to add a date, so use the date picker. Or add a checklist to list tasks to complete the idea. You can insert an image, or you could add a comment that shows your name and the thoughts about the idea. Rows, columns, and cells keep the content contained and easy to manage. You can sort the table items in the order of a column. For example, sort the items by the date in which they are due. Or if the items are assigned, sort by ordering the name of the assignee's name. Whole columns can be moved into a different order too. This is helpful when you want to prioritize the items in a table. Select the row and drag it into a different order. Or you can move columns into a different order. This is helpful when you want to prioritize the information about an item. Table components are the most versatile way for listing and ordering information. Adding other components inside table cells are a quick way to mention people, add dates, or create checklists for an item. There are so many possibilities for table components. What lists will you make for your next table component?